On this video, I'm going to share with you my country rib recipe. Now, country ribs are a little bit different than baby back ribs. I prefer country ribs because they have a lot more meat on them. Now, I always brine my ribs, and in this case, I made a Jack Daniels brine. I combine two cups of Jack Daniels with one cup of brown sugar, two tablespoons of sea salt, two tablespoons of garlic powder, two tablespoons of ground black pepper, and one teaspoon of dried thyme. I mix that all together, and I put that in a container and filled it up just enough to completely cover the meat, put it in the refrigerator overnight. Let's have a look at these country ribs that have been brining overnight. Ooh, that smells good. All right. We need to dry these off before we put our rub on them. Let's get some paper towels. Put those down here. And some tongs. Oh, look at that. That's going to smoke up good. All right, let's dry these off. Now in this bowl, I have a rub that consists of two cups of brown sugar, one half cup of sea salt, one quarter cup of Spanish style paprika, a quarter cup of chili powder, and a quarter cup of lemon pepper, and a quarter cup of granulated garlic, a tablespoon of ground black pepper, and a teaspoon of dried basil and a teaspoon of dried thyme. That's all in here and let's mix it up. I'm just going to take some time to get these lumps out of this brown sugar. Okay, now that we have the majority of the lumps out, we can take our ribs and put them in here and just pat the heck out of them with this seasoning. Let me get another container to put these on. Yeah. We're going to let these sit for a while while we go out and prepare the smoker. The wood that I'm going to use to smoke these country ribs with is a combination of apple and cherry. You can see it soaking in water there. And also notice that I have lined the pan with aluminum foil, even on the bottom. The bottom of the pan is also lined with foil, and that makes cleanup easier. Now we have this rack sitting here, which allows the juices to drip into here and helps keep our smoker cleaner. It's a little difficult to clean sometimes. Okay, the ribs have been sitting for about 45 minutes. Let them warm up just a little bit. They were in the refrigerator overnight in that brine. And we have our wood that's nice and wet. We have a smoker set to 210 degrees. This happens to be the Smoke and Tex model 1400. I purchased this back in 2009, and it actually sits under this table all winter, and you can see it's really holding up. So let's put the meat in and the wood chips, and let's get started. Okay, the country ribs are in the smoker, the wood chips are in place, the temperature is set for about 210 degrees. All we have to do is sit back and wait for about three hours. Okay, it's been about three hours. The internal temperature of the meat is about 169 degrees. Let's take these country ribs inside and put them under the studio lights so that you can get a better look at them. Okay, there you have it. My version of country ribs soaked in a Jack Daniels brine, rubbed with a brown sugar rubbed, smoked in a smoker for three hours at 210 degrees, 
with a combination of apple and cherry wood chips. Mm, mm, mm. Boy, does that look good.